another visitor. Stay a while. Stay forever. Здравствуйте, товарищи! This is Normal 69, and as you can see, this is from the depths. So, I'm uh, an avid user of the forums, and people there are insisted that I should try fuel engines again. So, I will begin a new Natar campaign here. And uh, will use fuel engines because uh, one year ago I went completely RTG and uh, that was because my units couldn't keep up themselves because they were too big and guzzled fuel so that was a problem and uh, I, I just wanted to see why people were so persistent to talk me into this you will see. So, godly designs, balanced weapon damage and uh, I like to capture, of course, and localized resource because supply is a thing uh, which uh, should be used, I think so. I like it. So, here is the original uh, fortress and uh, uh, this is a fortress built to for you to yearn to uh, modify it because it's not so perfect, but that's good. And you have a, a little boat, and here is the welcoming text. You can read it if you would like. Uh, you are living inside the territory of a pirate faction, the Deepwater Guards. So, let's go and look after our material and uh, strategical needs before we go to war uh, with those pirates. So, I put up some more repair tentacles because I would like to build a really, really small and effective collecting base, no weapons whatsoever. So I have this utility directory and here is the fuel modified version of my build crane, which is a crane which keeps and builds units, have material collectors and one mildly effective fuel processor inside and the main thing that it is cheap so I just uh, destroyed the little boat because it's not automatic and uh, I'm out of resources so I think I will destroy the main base now crossing my fingers that it wouldn't mean that uh, yes okay so the campaign is not over. So I have some resources here and I just uh, examine if I can stop the fuel processor if it's full or is it automatic. I don't see any fuel processor options here, just the boiler, burning rate, but I still abhor uh, ammo processors and uh, steam engines because they are eating the precious material which I could uh, make into new units and uh, of course I could repair in combat or build small units in combat which I like a lot. Okay, so no option here. Let's see, let's look after the next thing, which is radar, because we need to see what the enemy is up to. So it's a really simple old uh, build, just a big radar dish, uh, balloons and one AI, so it won't destroy itself and a chair to teleport into.
if I please. And shortly it will rise and we will see the area around us. Uh, in this game it's important that you first spawn in the unit because uh, at first uh, the game recognizes it uh, just be able to be at uh, water level and it has a 3 meter per second movement even if you spawn it out of play those are those uh, little cubes, wireframe cubes which uh, you can see in this game maybe later and uh, the last data how they uh, position themselves and uh, how fast they could go in game uh, the game remem remembers that and uh, you can uh, move them out of play and this is just a simple building it's from metal it has some energy making units and uh, ammo crates which makes ammo slowly and of course it has fuel containers the main idea is these little cubes will spit out missiles and torpedoes and hard to hit except from cannons uh, by cannons from abo or torpedoes and uh, they will pepper the area around us if we are attacked with uh, torpedoes and missiles and beside that uh, just uh, you see I can make squads here and you go to battle with uh, these uh, unit squads and uh, this little bunkers has uh, fuel have uh, fuel containers so the main idea is in peacetime uh, my build crane will fill them up with fuel and in combat they will rearm and refuel other units that's why uh, all of my units at resource group 1 because uh, units in the same resource group share their resources material fuel ammo energy etc so there are now three little bunkers underwater near to each other so they can repair each other and this unit called monk is a little erratic flyer which mainly provides uh, radar coverage because all of my units have uh, intravehicle transmitters so they share detec detection data and under this one bunker there is docking station because if it senses an enemy it will let go of this unit but on this unit is a control block which says if it's damaged the bunker collects it gets repaired and let loose again so that is my usual drone philosophy around here so uh, shortly we will uh, make war with the pirates but first uh, I will need to wait for resources to be collected because uh, for a long time I said that I will make a better radar vehicle and the years passed and I, I didn't but now there is one so when I will have enough resources the curious cat in parentheses uh, curiosity killed the cat uh, will be built but till then we should wait a bit so in combat I can uh, choose squads which will make battle and the original build crane will be out of battle so cannot be hurt only if my all other squads are defeated so I just waited for a time and now we have enough resources to spawn in my little simple radar so I will collect back the radar balloon destroy it 
and we'll build my next generation unit. It's an uh, interesting part that uh, if a unit has no propulsion, you can still move it by 3 meters per second on the strategic or tactical map if it's out of play. And now here it is. It's just a light alloy unit. Not so strong. Uh, it will fly around uh, 1,800 meters high. So it has a really good radar coverage. It has resource collectors and four middle range missiles just, just to have some protection if uh, any enemy unit can catch it. Uh, and the resource collectors are there because if I want to just hop in and steal some resources from somewhere. Okay, it's automatically go up to that height and I will uh, start its propulsion when it's high enough just for the game the first time remember it can go faster than three meter per second you see it's a good thing that uh, independent of the unit height it can mine the resource rings resource could be only found inside those rings or if you kill a unit just as I set up uh, first before starting this campaign you get 10% of the resources the unit remains worth so if you shoot off parts you can get some amount of resources I don't know how much maybe that is 10% too I don't know but let's see let's see how we fare just a side note I like to use the from the depths forums and uh, from the depths discord and I will make war with the deep water guard now and uh, at last a human called Gladion I hope I say your name right will join the development team and it's good thing because he wrote mods for this game like uh, spin block madness which are spin blocks on spin blocks and spin blocks it make possible wonderful creations for example functioning lux or something like that and he made a uh, really good uh, ui modification modes a lot of more a lot more information ACB automatic control blocks uh, can do much more and he even fixed uh, some problems with this game when the explosions uh, uh, not really correctly work when you have a turret, in, a turret inside the ship for example so we are all hoping uh, for those modifications will be included in this game so I have a, a small amount of units and uh, it's a small enemy unit really far away so my missiles I don't think will reach it this little boat and of course I, I forgot to set my little plane into combat but let's see will the torpedo reach it torpedoes has a greater range because they consume less fuel than missiles so nighttime all youtubers like nighttime because uh, it's so mysterious because our viewers couldn't see anything good two little units not one with missiles okay oh and I should make it combat so as you can see in this unit uh, you shouldn't eat before you fly it and it goes right into the mountain and as you can see I'm really good at flying a plane around 
uh, it's really confusing for the enemy, except I, I, I really couldn't avoid that big mountain. So I think I should uh, give up by manually controlling it. Also, I should note that uh, uh, my heart is full of sorrow because harpoon missiles are a problem right now. You shouldn't use any harpoons, sadly. Uh, I, I like them so much because I harpoon the enemy, pull it down and uh, rams and uh, spinning bustles eat it. I, I like the style. But no, you shouldn't do that. And uh, so I just need to manually use my diplomatic minigun on these boats to kill them. Uh, when I find AI, I will shoot it and the unit will be mine. So, you don't need your backside. And the AI wasn't there. And it's really tricky for me to land on this boat, it seems so. Maybe it's in the nose? Yes! It's in the nose. Is it mine? Yes! Take it out of the game because uh, uh, it it couldn't be hurt by other enemy units and now just go after the other boat and uh, my little monk was destroyed so I need to refit, refit all my units uh, for to don't use any harpoon missiles and I need to make another unit which can fight this little deep water guard wooden enemies. So let's make a showcase about the unit I've made. It's a real simple little submarine but I will talk about it in accent in the next part. So I just repair these things before I make the refit and the unit. So, let's see. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. So, because my I, I don't have <laughs> cheap units and because my old units uh, wasn't performing so well, which were little, I made this little unit called Spike Fish. It's a uh, small simple thing you can see it's only around 9000 material and uh, it can do a few things uh, its main drawback that it has uh, a small amount of ammo as you can see on the right hand side it depends uh, other units to provide it with ammo or it can perform uh, first volley very well and then uh, slowly eating away the enemy. It has an anti-torpedo system, a little one, and uh, it has, because I saw it on the forums, missiles here and torps and they are ejected uh, at uh, 45 degree angle and they go through this block that is really nice glitch I love it it has ammo on the back side so it's my usual philosophy keep the ammo separate and uh, put it into the back because the unit goes forward and maybe the enemy will miss it because the unit won't be there. Here is an exhaustless little motor. I don't know if it's good because I'm new at the motor business. Hmm. 
if I select the motor the dock release really really okay no problem so it's the data of the motor it's um, I think it's not performing so bad and it provides energy as you can see it has this crankshaft just for connection to the radiator two adapters with four cylinders with carburetors and turbochargers and a nice amount of fuel it has a turning propellers two big propellers so it goes a little bit above 10 meter per second in the back there are two and two uh, pitch propellers which handled by a PID and roll propellers here is the new thing the attitude is controlled by this dedicated heli blade I set it uh, raise to O and uh, descend to L and here are two automated control blocks if the C bottom is further away than 80 meters it pumps O key and if the seabed is nearer than 80 meters it pumps the L key and because it's uh, forward to the mass center that's why I have the PID controlled pitch controller propellers on the back side okay so here is the motor it's not really well protected the main protection is the water and this shield generator here which is uh, three which has three strength uh, strength and it it don't uses a lot of power and three simple lasers which use only ammo so this shield is always pointing towards the enemy and uh, I saw a crumbshell bouncing off it nice here is the AI with the uh, intravehicle transmitter wireless transmitter and a wireless snooper and two local weapon controllers this up controls the simple laser turret and this controls the all of size which are here with ejectors and uh, the pr uh, torpedoes there are two EMP torpedoes with magnets set to maximum I love magnets and ballastons so the torpedoes stay 10 meters below the water if idle these torpedoes are explosive and uh, these are missiles so the ballast tanks at maximum variable thruster a little bit changed over the things and the fragmentation and an EMP warhead I think that's why uh, the enemies went uh, so quickly to AI dead here is the anti torpedo torpedoes which are controlled by this missile controller and this missile controller is fired when a hostile not missile but torpedo nearer than 700 meters and it's affecting things two away and you know the automated contro control block is the first and this is the second so no other weapon system is controlled here uh, this is a glitch I love to use I will try to no don't matter so this is a fixed one-way turret nothing moves it 
it has a AI controller, two cards, one passive sonar and one active sonar. So because this unit is usually turned towards at ramming uh, the enemy unit, it uh, almost always works. And this passive sonar is detecting uh, all around except below mainly the enemy torpedoes so this automatically sends data here to say hey there is a torpedo at, uh, below 700 meters please fire the anti-torpedo torpedoes so this has a small attack power by these two missiles to air four torpedoes it kills enemy torps cheap. Uh, its fuel kept while I uh, planned this unit, so uh, I I didn't uh, refill its uh, fuel because all the time while I built this, the fuel was more than enough. I think when I was ready, it still had uh, around uh, three and a half thousand fuel so I consider this, this little exhaustless motor effective uh, inside it has some uh, repair drones a little bit of uh, materials most of the materials are outside here repair tentacles more repair drones and that's it and uh, to quickly showcasing its movement oh yeah I, I had to set this to red like this so max elevation is zero because it kept shooting the nose you see okay I detach now Good. and as we can see it's already descending uh, here is a underwater reef a hill so it won't stay so deep but if I send it away oh and it's 12 meter per second sometimes uh, jumps out of the water and if it gets to a more deep area it will descend I'm really satisfied with its turning rate because there are turning propellers on the forward and back section so it relaxed uh, really quickly and most of the time it won't hit the C button as uh, the dedicated halibate has uh, such a strange uh, strength to uh, pull up its nose when it's near, nearing the bottom so that's it and uh, as you can see it performed uh, well against enemy units so I am satisfied with it but let's go over and uh, see how it performs in battle because I promised you will see it so you will mm, maybe I should pimp it out more but it's so streamlined okay let's do the battle so here are some units provided by Richie they are beginning uh, flyers and uh, there will be oh I haven't uh, spawned in the subs yet. Uh, 
I will need to collect more resources. So, richest units against this cockatrice or angry chicken. They can be hurt really easily by cannons, but they fire a bit load of missiles. And uh, as I see, Richie's units could uh, fly even they are damaged. Okay, a lot of missile hits on the enemy. It is already falling out of the sky. Kudos for Richie, thank you very much. Your units work as intended. And the enemy unit is vaporized already. Flyers have uh, little hatches, they called Katyushas, because he role plays a communist faction, even he's an Englishman, I think so. And these are the expert level red tuners. And I think uh, my avatar robot will be hit before I find their AI. Maybe I should look them over in more peaceful conditions. So where is your AI, little one? Please show yourself. Oh, Rico cutting bullets hit me and it's only the missile threat. Where is your AI? Okay, expert level units has hard to find AIs. And by the way, if you right click, you hit uh, blocks with your little mace on the right hand. So I don't think I could capture these units. Let's see another battle. They are sending me precious resources. Thank you, thank you very much. Please send them. And I need to repair the flyers before the combat occurs. So I will move them a little bit closer to the base for material transfer and repair, please do it. All right. Katyushas are repairing now. And in the meantime, I just put in some Amiga music for you to hear because that's not copyright protected at all. And uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, with headphones the Tranquility Brainwave modification sound which you were hearing till now. Okay, so this is a blimp. It receives my presence, the Katyusha's present, and the little bunker's presence. A lot of missiles are incoming. How do you do? And the little uh, drone planes of the blimp are shooting Katyushas. Oh, and there is another unit, a cram unit. It was two damage for a time. Oh, and it's shooting down my uh, my bunkers underwater, so they are not so safe there. That may be a problem. I, in this playthrough, I go for uh, the DVG sending me weak units and I collect the resources. But if these are blowing up because they under 80% and sinking, of course, because they are on the sea bottom, maybe they will completely destroyed. That's a problem I uh, haven't counted on. What will happen to my strategy? I really need resources to spawn in the submarines because they are moving and hard to hit. Uh, help me hope that I will survive this battle. Oh yeah, Katyushas are performing really well. And in and essentially they are capturing vehicles because they hop. Uh, because you can hop out of them. 
if they are flying over the enemies. So I think this blimp is falling already. No. It still keeps up after shooting down all my bunkers, or almost all of them. But uh, now it has uh, airflow inside it freely. And uh, if you could see the Katyusha's has the uh, ammo on the back or the sides philosophy too. I like that. I like that a lot. And uh, we say the Mon goodbye because it's repeatedly went to space and the way. So the next battle still oh and here are the subs already. We will see them in battle now. Good, just some strategic positioning. Uh, you can, s uh, you have that green circle around an enemy, uh, a friendly squad, and you can set units inside that circle before battle. So you can set them up exactly which direction how high and exactly where are spawning in battle. You can set the height by keep pressing the right button and uh, pulling it. You will see if you try it. Okay, and here is the debutage of my submarine against this brave unit. Let's see how it goes. Incoming missiles from the Katyushas. If you know the Katyushas were a Russian uh, truck with uh, a lot of missiles, a lot of one shot missiles. And we killed it. Fine. Let's collect all my units back and uh, repair them because maybe. No, they weren't damaged. Maybe my submarines uh, draw the fire. Very good. Okay, are you alright? It seems so. You have every part on you. No problem at all. Fine. Let's see the next battle. Uh, I hope for something bigger. More materials for me, of course. So, in this playthrough, I hope for uh, letting the DVG, the Deep Fatter Guard Pirate Faction, to leave. Because they have uh, limited resource zones near to me, and maybe it would be better if I just uh, process their units continually. Maybe they will provide me infinite resources that way. It's a theory, I like to experiment. So this is another brave ship, and uh, I must say the Defater Guard unit is looking good. Yep, the Torps couldn't turn, but the Katyushas welcome this boat very well. Pirates jumping into the water, feeding the sharks, everything goes fine. And this submarine is really stable. Let's see the next battle now. Maybe? Yes, they are bigger. More materials for me. Please send your obsolete units. I will process them. I promise. And I will use them if the materials are enough for building my uh, bigger units if I can, when I can. Till that, it's a turtling game. I like turtling. I mainly defense and just a little bit of offense, but I like weak and uh, uh, fast units with good movement. Okay, lasers are firing on the gacha. The big plane and the big plane is greedy and collecting all my missiles. Okay, not all. Some of them gets distributed to the enemy and it's fire torpedoes. 
Okay, and I fire in my laser from point blank range. Okay, my subs are repairing each other and they seem to be wanting to mate or collide, so... Oh, and it rams very well. Okay, go away, please. And I will try to capture those units. But o with all the incoming missiles and lasers, I think I just float beside it. And uh, hopefully I capture it if its AI gets destroyed by my units instead of me on this unit and getting all the shrapnels and the missiles and the lasers inside my tender backside. So just be careful. Okay, resources are distributed very well and for this short time they are already defeated. The red dots are enemy missiles, I think so. Okay, so as you can see, I exhausted the enemy's attack and now it's for a time to hopefully collecting some more resources till they got their strength back. So if you like this video, please thumb me up because then I will know uh, I should make the next part and I will make it anyway. So have a good time. Bye bye. This was Normal 69. Cheers.